I'm starting my first YouTube video today and I'm very excited. Today's video will be, I was going to make it like a vlog kind of thing and like a news for this video. I'm sorry if I keep hearing this thing beep. I'm going to try to make that stop before I start recording again. But this is the first half of the video. We is about to be blowing up. I don't know if it's appropriate or not to just like smoke or like show weed or like, I don't know. So, I thought this part would be semi interesting to kind of like see me roll up. Um, it's also quiet in my house, so why not start filming? So first I'm going to smoke, because I haven't smoked all day, and it is going on like 3 o'clock, and I'm supposed to be on like my second, third blunt today. So, because I, I don't know, I woke up hella early, but we'll be talking about, or I'll be, sh I'm not really showing you guys how to make this, but like, I'm showing you guys how I made it, I'm not really teaching you, but I also want this to be known that this is not my pattern. Um, how I made this ski mask oh, two to three days to make it I really could finish it in a day if I wanted to today I might not finish it in a day it's kind of too much crocheting is supposed to be like an outlet to me and not like a a business thing and that's why I have a hard time selling my crochet because I don't want it my hobby which I like to do to turn into something that I hate and if you do not know my name is Amariana, but you can call me Ari, okay? This is the first part of the video. It's me rolling up. I'm not the best roller, but I'm not the worst roller either. I'm used to rolling with my long nails. So it's kind of weird rolling them short now. So I feel like I should roll them too. But then again, I don't really feel like rolling too, but I feel like I should because like, I really supposed to be... Um, I don't normally smoke before I do I do crochet because I'm used to rolling with long nails so that's why I'm used to putting my mouth on literally everything and not just like rolling it up if you get what I'm saying. I'm used to using my mouth more than my paws. <laughs> paws, hold on. Should I roll me too just to be safe? I'm gonna come back when I'm smoking. We're gonna be making a ski mask. Um, it, went pretty, it was pretty popular, a lot of people wanted one. I am going to sell them. It's just that, I don't know. It's just that people don't be serious about wanting to pay me. They just want it. They don't necessarily want to pay for it. And I really can't give you the shit for free. I done made stuff for people and they haven't, they haven't paid for them. Like I haven't given them to them. They just haven't paid for it. Like, and that's kind of annoying. Cause do you know how long it takes me to make this stuff? Like it literally takes me days of making this stuff especially if it's not for me super motherfucking excited to show you guys the process of me making this maybe it'll be more realistic for you maybe especially when i work you know i don't do this full time all day every day this is just you know this is my hobby this is what i like to do for fun this is what i like to do to make me happy and to relax I don't have anybody particular that I'm making this for. I'm just making it and then whoever, you know, brings me the cash first. Cause even people in my own household want one and they're they have to pay. So like, you know, and that's what really gets me. I put so much love and passion into every single stitch that I make. So if I make this for you, I really want you to wear it. I really want you to love it. I really want you to like, you know, cherish it because i put so much love in it each and every time that i make one and that's why i don't want to really sell my crochet all the time i want to tell you guys a little bit about myself i like to smoke and i like to get over <laughs> like why like they were so close to the mirror like, i love to smoke i love to um be creative i like to paint I used to paint when I was in high school and I used to be pretty good at it. Um, I like to draw a little bit. I, I don't draw that good, but like sometimes I could draw. Like I drew my favorite character. Her name is Coraline. 
uh, if you have not seen that movie go watch it go watch it i literally love that movie i love that movie ever since i was a kid and i watched it so many fucking times so many times i've watched that movie a thousand fucking times so i love Coraline and i drew her i lost the picture unfortunately and it makes me really sad because i did really I like to crochet of course when i was in high school um i told my art teacher i was like i like to i like to crochet blah 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 i was telling her what the things i like to make i was showing her the things i like to make and she was like oh i love this i love these so she would literally let me bring my yarn to class and let me crochet like i didn't have to do the art projects everybody else had to do the art projects, but she was just like oh, mariana you can you know go ahead and crochet i was like oh my god really so i w she wasn't really hard on me about doing what she wanted me to do i mean if i wanted to participate she would let me like I what the fuck do people be looking at <laughs> like i hate that i hate when people stare at me like i'm so shy like please do not stare at me if you're gonna stare at me please say something you know because i don't want you like what if you thought something good of me i would like to know that but if you think like i don't know i always just think people would just think bad of me like oh my god like oh yeah i like to do my makeup also i'm a gemini and i really want to tell y'all behind my name so i thought of she gemini because um <clears throat> i'm a girl and i'm feminine and um like you're her as in that girl so like yeah i thought she gemini because i'm that girl i'm feminine i'm divine i'm you know and then gemini like um that's my zodiac like if you really know me you can be like yeah she's a gemini like she you know two sides a lot of emotions you feel me so that's why i put she gemini and also in like conversation like i know sometimes when i watch people i'll be like hmm i wonder what their zodiac sign is but you don't have to do that with me because it's my it's my you know my channel name so it's just like oh she gemini like that <laughs> i thought i ate i hope other people get to see this not just people in my city but other people that's what i'm scared of i really hope that you know my video gets out there because i don't just want to be seen like in my city you know i just want to be i just i just want to be out there but of course i have to start with the people in my city because these are the people that you know are here can i cuss out here maybe i should start beeping out the cuss words i don't even know if i could cuss out here because i've be seeing people like yeah welcome to she gemini we gonna have fun the heater is in the background i'm sorry if you could hear people in the background this is as quiet as it's probably gonna get so to start making this oh i didn't even show y'all hold on this except for we're gonna be making it a little bit better um the ears are detachable like they're supposed to come on and off but um the buttons i have see i had used to uh, this yarn I, I made it chunky so the button wouldn't go through the holes on the ski mask because i made this chunky so i just glued them there so that you know when i make the other one it's not gonna be glued so basically this is the ski mask i made a little heart on the side um, I like pink and black. Those are my favorite colors. So, yeah, you can roll it down. Hold on. You can roll it down, and then this is the eye section. I didn't leave my nose part out. I just left my eyes part out. You can, um, roll it up to, like, be just a hat without it being a ski mask. And then the ears, you could wear it without the ears or with the ears. You could leave the ears down like a bunny. Also, you guys, you could also do like devil horns and you could also do like beer ears as well. I just didn't make those yet because, you know, everybody liked the bunny ears so much. But I got to do those too. I think a lot of people will fuck with those, the, the devil ears. That would be cool. And then you can tie the, the bunny ears if you want to be just kind of like cute, you know. You know, if you really want to, if you really feeling it. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be making today. Let me let me know just 
I take a picture with this just in case I use it as my thumbnail. Okay, this is a cheap yarn that I got from Walmart. This is a bigger kind, so it's probably around about like eight dollars. And then I also have my laptop because, um, as I said, this is not my making. You know, I just followed a tutorial, so I got this handy. And then, of course, I got like all my um, stuff, like my hooks and my stitch markers and my yarn needles and all that stuff. And I forgot what she used in this, but I think you can just kind of go based off of whatever size this is. This wants you to use is like a five millimeter hook or my 5.5 millimeter hook. The girl that I that I did, the second one, her. I followed her tutorial, so that's what we're gonna do. Hers was beginner friendly and teaches you how to do the actual stitches this is not none of that this size i'm gonna make i'm gonna just make this a medium start with a slip knot and, I'll, and i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys actually she has a size chart for the head you need about you need 60 chains so I'm gonna, and if you can't tell i'm left-handed so you know learning to crochet was a little bit difficult for me because you know most people are right hand kind of hold it like this all right so once i have my 60 chains thing you're gonna connect it and make sure you gotta make sure it's like on the same side so like this is the neat side and then this is the hold on then this is like the bumpy side so you want to make sure you just keep it like going like that down the whole way so that way it doesn't get twisted and this is probably one of the most hardest parts and double crochet in each chain fingers is cramping fingers is cramping I'm crocheting a little bit slower than I normally do because I am high, so, you know, I'm... Definitely the next day. Sorry for the background noise because I know you're going to hear it and I know you're going to hear it. Right now, I'm only on like row four of the bottom part of that thing I was telling you guys about. If you can see, it doesn't look so cross, but like a, a knitted stitch. Learn about crochet. Um, how to fix your mistake instead of necessarily pulling it all out and restarting also by the way this top made by me literally took me like an hour or so so these i can make in a day and they're super super cute so yeah i'll be back I'm still sorry about the background noise, but we are almost done. As you can see, look at it. Yes, purr, purr, purr. Mm. I'm very happy. I did finish this before my normal smoke time. So yeah, we got a few more, a few more rows to do. Hey, 
So this is the neck part and I did kind of try this much so I just made sure that it could go over my head. See how much it stretched. Alright, so now for this one, the head as you can see. Now I am chain one half double crochet in each stitch until the end. So now we're just making like a basic row. Let me go get the so now we're just making this part. See, we just got done with this part. Now we're just making this part. So it really shouldn't take me long to reach the eyes part. So that's my goal to complete today is at least up into that. And then tomorrow I'm going to show you guys some. I might do some at work. Okay, so continuing on. So these are my 11 rows. Let me get up close. Mm -hmm. So here we get. So now we're pretty much like about here. We're getting close to the eyes. So. Okay, so y'all, we are right at the eyes. So we did like, oh yeah, shout out to my, to my friends in the city. They had got me this. Um, they had got me this because they know I like to crochet. It came with yarn. It came with mad hooks. It came with stitch markers. Yarn. It came with literally everything. Everything. And I really, really appreciate them. And I'm going to say their names. Shout out to Grace and Evan. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yup. 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 I'm going to send this to them. I'm going to send this video to them. They're going to be so happy. They're going to be like, oh my God. <laughs> like, hey, y'all. Yeah, I said I'm gonna do it and I'm doing it. They're gonna be so proud of me. Okay. Seam is that's why we marked it. This is where your seam is at. So you kind of want to position that to like the back in the middle to measure where you want your eyes to be six and a half inches, is what she said. So the first the first stitch I marked like here. And then we're gonna move over to like six and a half. Make it a look like this one. Like that. So where we put the orange one, that's like dead, like our dead middle. When we turn it this way, this is where our eye holds. So I'm back again. So I just keep going and see it get to where we marked off and then you're gonna chain and now it's just basically looking like a space but you see it's coming together right sis or <laughs> I don't know I, I, I gotta start calling y'all something because I can't be calling y'all all these like gendered names but <laughs> Okay, it is currently 12.26 a.m. and I'm still going. So this is the ski mask. Baklava. This is where the eyes are going to be. So now we are doing finally the crown closing it. So I'm going to just keep showing y'all that this part is decreasing. 
Hey. Truck to the plane, to the truck. Truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages. Presidential suite. almost done look this is the size of the hole that looked it weird <laughs> but yeah this is the size of the hole i literally got like one more stitch and then we're gonna close it and cut like a pretty long string not really long but kind of long just so we can sew we put this through right so I'm gonna, I want to show you guys how small that hole is. See, it's just so small. So we're gonna use this string to sew the top of it and close it. But do y'all see it? So, there's different yarn needle sizes, of course. I got this one, the smaller one, which is always gonna be the safer one to work with, and well, at least for me, I'm fine. But that went right through. So this, I don't know. I kind of just really just wing it. Really. I mean, I don't really do no. Cause I took my ponytail just so I could show y'all what it's looking like.
so here I wanted to interject and say that I used uh, safety pins to put the ears on because I couldn't find any buttons. Um, another thing that I also end up doing was gluing the heart on, which I did not do on my last one. I sold my last one, but I glued this one so it could be quicker. So, yeah. Okay, and this is the finished result. I just used my pink and black one because I didn't get any cute pictures in the blue one. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe.